Aloha, beautiful souls. Welcome back to the Happiness Hub, where we focus on attracting abundance, creating freedom, and living joyfully in both business and life. I am your host, Marianne Roos, and today's episode is particularly close to my heart. We are going to talk about building a supportive community through gratitude. Gratitude is such a simple yet powerful practice that not only shifts our mindset, but also deepens our connection and strengthen our communities. I know you've heard me talk about gratitude before, but today I want to dig a little deeper into how it can help you build a solid and supportive community around you, whether that is in your personal life, business, or even in your local area. Gratitude is the glue that holds it all together. Let's kick things off with a story. Now, most of us are familiar with Dolly Parton, right? If you know me, you know I am a fan of country music. And just hearing Dolly's name has songs popping in my head. She is an international superstar, a legend in music, and one of the most beloved public figures out there. But beyond her amazing career, what really stands out about Dolly is her incredible heart of gratitude. And not just because she says thank you with every award or recognition that she receives, but because she lives and breathes gratitude in her daily life. One of the best examples of this is her imagination library. Dolly's inspiration came from a place of deep gratitude for her father. He never had the chance to learn to read, and that was something that weighed heavily on him. In his honor, Dolly decided to create the Imagination Library in 1995. At first, it was just a local program in her hometown in Tennessee, but soon it grew, and today it sends free books to children in five countries around the world. Millions of kids have benefited from this program, all because of Dolly's gratitude for her upbringing and the desire to give back. What's even more powerful is how this act of giving has built a community. Parents, teachers, volunteers, and supporters have all come together because of this program. It has become so much more than just giving books to children. It has become a worldwide movement of connection, learning, and shared gratitude. Dolly's simple act of recognizing where she was from and expressing her things has had a ripple effect that touches countless lives. Now, I know, We're not all global icons like Dolly Parton, but you know what? The lesson here is that gratitude can create waves of connection in our own lives. Whether we are raising a family, running a business, or nurturing a group of friends, gratitude is a powerful tool we can use to build a stronger, more supportive community all around us. So let's talk about practical ways that you can use gratitude to attract abundance and build those deep connections. First, you want to make it personal. One of the biggest things that I have learned in my own journey is that people remember how you make them feel. So take a few moments each day to express gratitude to the people around you. This doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple as sending a heartfelt text message a handwritten note, or giving someone a unique compliment. People love to feel appreciated, and when they know that you see and value them, it strengthens the relationship. For example, let's say that you are running a business, and you want to build a loyal client base. Don't just rely on automated emails or generic thank you notes. Take the time to send a personal message that highlights something specific they have done or something you have noticed about them. Maybe it's a client who went the extra mile on a project or a customer who has been with you for years. 
Whatever it is, make your gratitude specific and meaningful. Now create opportunities for others to share gratitude. Gratitude isn't just a one-way street. When we open the door for others to express their thanks, we create an environment where positive energy thrives. One thing I love to do in my business is start meetings or gatherings by asking everyone to share one thing they are grateful for. It is a small act, but it shifts the entire tone of the room, or the Zoom room in that matter. Suddenly, everyone's mindset is focused on abundance and the good things in life, and it naturally strengthens the connections between people. You can do this in your community as well. Maybe start a weekly gratitude circle where you and a group of friends or coworkers take turns sharing something you're thankful for. Or if you're more comfortable in a virtual space, host a gratitude Zoom call. The more we practice gratitude, the more we attract the same energy into our lives and the more our community benefits from it. Here is another way that you can take this idea into action. Lead by example. If you want to build a supportive community, you have to embody what you want to attract. Mm. Show people what gratitude looks like in action. For example, let's say that you're working on a big project with your team and you are collaborating with other entrepreneurs. Go out of your way to recognize their contributions. Celebrate their wins and make sure that they feel valued. When people feel seen and appreciated, they are more likely to give back and support you in return. And lastly, don't forget to share your own gratitude journey. We all have unique stories about how gratitude has impacted our lives. When you share yours, you inspire others to cultivate that mindset as well. Maybe you have experienced a challenge in your business or personal life, but through the practice of gratitude, you have been able to shift your perspective and come out stronger. Share that story with your community. When we lead with gratitude, we attract others who are on the same frequency and that creates a support system that can help us grow in ways we never imagined. Before we close today, I want to leave you with a little challenge. Over the next week, I encourage you to reach out to three people in your life and tell them why you are grateful for them. It could be a friend, a family member, a client, or even a mentor. Whoever it is, make it genuine and heartfelt. You will be surprised by how much the simple act strengthens your connection with them and how it lifts your own energy too. And don't forget to take a moment for yourself. Start a gratitude journal if you haven't already done so. Write down things that you're grateful for each day. This practice shifts your mindset and helps you attract more abundance and positivity positivity into your life. Trust me, it is a game changer. I am using this amazing, unique, what else can I say about this gratitude journal? I haven't seen it and like this anywhere, available anywhere. So if, if you want connection for that journal, let me know because I can hook you up. But it is definitely a game changer. Now, if you found today's episode helpful, or inspiring, I would love for you to subscribe to the Happiness Hub. And don't forget to share this episode with someone you think could benefit from building more gratitude and connection in their life or business. Let's keep spreading that positive energy far and wide. And as always, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. So a hooey ho. Toodle pip, and until next time, keep attracting that abundance and building those meaningful connections. Aloha.